let's move on. This is a team that you do not love, and I don't know that anybody does right now. That would yeah, be the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, six and ten last year, which was kind of impressive, really. If you yes. if you look at what they did, I mean, good gracious, their win total this year is five. To go over is plus one hundred five. To go under is minus one twenty five. So obviously, they expect you know the under to win the division plus twenty five hundred. They're saying basically there is no way, no way. Uh, Doug Marone is the head coach entering his fourth season, and I would believe that it will be his last season because they have sold the farm. Uh, this is the the Gardner Minshew show. Uh, let's uh, let's dive through the stats right quick from last season. Offensive yards per play, 5.4. That was good for number 19. Defensive yards per play, 6.0. That was good for number 29. That is not a good number that you want to see. Turnover margin. Only number 20. They they gave up .1 turnovers per game, which uh, better than I anticipated, really. Um, it, look, it, it's the Minshew show. A- everything about this is the Minshew show. They just cut Leonard Fournette uh, for nothing. Said they couldn't find a trade partner, but, I mean, they don't really have a lot behind him. So, it, you know, what are we going to do here? They it, Everything about this team screams tank, except for they went out and they signed linebacker Joe Schobert. I don't understand, because he's like a good linebacker. He was good for the Browns, and they gave him some pretty significant money. Why? That no, that made no sense. They still have to field a team. Well, I mean, and I get just it. signing for this year. It's not a one-year deal, is it? No, it's not. It's just. No, then there you go. They, they're still building a team, man. That's fine. Yeah. They're not going to, like, not sign somebody. Go ahead and get them. True. Uh, Josh Allen, still got some growing to do. Has not looked great, but he's, you know, he's had flashes of brilliance. C.J. Henderson. Is uh, is their first round draft pick cornerback? Uh, I think it, they got a good foundation to build on with those three guys. But other than that, I mean, this I is... I don't know, man. That defense doesn't impress me at all. I mean, I, I no, thought no, Josh Allen a... was going to be the tits when he got into the league. He just hadn't been. Well, but he, he hasn't had any help at all. In, in when, when you're on defense and you're a pass rusher, you don't need help. You just go get the guy. No, I mean, look for for the Colts. I think Justin Henderson or Justin Houston, who was not good last year. Uh, I think he's going to be opened up a whole lot more this year because of DeForest Buckner coming in. Like it, it, it's it's another way to open up. It, it's just like offense where you're creating space on that defense for him to be able to get back there. Yeah. I mean that's the deal. Good gracious, what <laughs> is that Maui? Hell yeah, he's losing his damn mind. <laughs> I think it's storming outside. Yeah, it's, sorry. Uh, it, it was doing that here. It was doing that here. Um, so with that said, like they're not very good on offense. They don't have a lot of weapons. They're not very good on defense. Don't have a lot of um, uh, foundational pieces. They got like three guys that I would build this defense around, but they're not there yet. Um, I, I mean, this is this is tankathon. I mean, that's a hundred percent what this is. What uh, I think I, so too. I've got them four I, I and twelve. Go ahead. But I, I've got them four and twelve, and that's you know, I, and that may be nice. You so know? I I got them two and fourteen. I actually think they're going to be more a four and twelve, a six and ten team. I, I think that's the truth. Uh, I think I was a little. I just basically I print out a big sheet. I go down to everybody's schedule. I mark wins and losses. Then I count them up. Um, I I think you're more close to the to the right number than I am. Okay, let's say that. I don't think they're going to be that bad. A I actually think Garner means you could play. B I think I think this receiving quarter is pretty good. Okay. And, and I think Doug Marone's a, a pretty good head coach, to be honest with you. I just think he's been a disaster there because they just haven't supported him with any talent. We, we, we've we gone through and hashed out the, you know, they've got like Yeah, Tom, Tom Coughlin has yeah, done a terrible destroy, job. He, he destroyed that team. He destroyed it. And he's gone now. But but the, the, the foundation has been crumbled, and it's got to be rebuilt. Are they going to do that around Doug Marone? Um, I don't know. I think he's a good coach. I will tell you this, the offense I trust, Jay Gruden, Jay Gruden has always had a pretty good offense. Even, I mean, even some of those bad Washington teams could put up points. It couldn't stop anybody. Some of those bad Cincinnati teams back in the day always put, I mean, we thought Andy Dalton, you know, could you win a Super Bowl? No, but could he win a couple of playoff games? Maybe. And and when Jay left, you know, it just oh, kind of went completely, downhill. Yeah. I think I think he's a really good OC. I, I think Marone's a really good head coach. I think they've got a lot of rebuilding to do. If I was ownership, I would be okay rebuilding around these guys. I really would. Yeah, but if that was the case, then wouldn't you want to 
start that right now, or do you just do well, you yeah, tank you gotta, to? Well, you got to you. Well, I mean, you're tanking to get. Yeah, you got to tank to get picks. How I mean, what do, what else are they supposed to do? How what would you do to rebuild around them? You I mean, try that's to a get good question, picks, right? Yeah, you try to get players. It's it's just but, so strange to me to not try to win, you know. And that's what it feels like they're not doing. I mean, but at the same time, Miami did this last year. Yep. You know, like at, they that whole organization tried to tried get rid of everybody lose. that was good. Yeah, and they did get rid of everybody that was good. And, they got and, rid of them all except for Devontae Parker, and still won five games. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's that's why you know I went four and twelve instead of two and fourteen. You're, you're, like, I, I assure you, I'm telling you, when we're done, your number's closer than my number. I I promise you that's going to be real. You you might be right. You I might really be believe right. that because I, I'm giving you my number. I I went through this is what I think will happen. Wins law. I didn't just look at a team, but because if you'd have just said. Look at these teams. Give me the record that you think they're going to be. I probably wouldn't have made the Colts eleven and five. I probably would have been ten and six, but but I also would have definitely said I think this team can win five games. It's somewhere between six and four. Six is their ceiling. I think four is the floor, and and that's the world they are. I trust. I I think this offense has too much talent. I really do. I think they're going to struggle unless they just start dealing those guys away. But the problem is those guys are all really young. Yeah, so. I mean that's that's who you would build around. 